baptized into his death and resurrection, May 20. Know ye not, that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Romans 6 3. Those who have taken part in the solemn rite of baptism have pledged themselves to seek for those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God, pledged themselves to labor earnestly for the salvation of sinners. God asks those who take his name, How are you using the powers that have been redeemed by the death of my Son? Are you doing all in your power to rise to a greater height in spiritual understanding? Are you adjusting your interest and actions in harmony with the momentous claims of eternity? Baptism is a most solemn renunciation of the world. Self is by profession dead to a life of sin. The waters cover the candidate, and in the presence of the whole heavenly universe the mutual pledge is made. In the name of the Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, man is laid in his watery grave, buried with Christ in baptism, and raised from the water to live the new life of loyalty to God. The three great powers in heaven are witnesses, they are invisible but present. We have died to the world. We have been buried in the likeness of Christ's death and raised in the likeness of his resurrection, and we are to live a new life. Our life is to be bound up with the life of Christ. In the first chapter of 2 Peter is presented the progressive work in the Christian life. The whole chapter is a lesson of deep importance. If man, in acquiring the Christian graces, works on the plan of addition, God has pledged himself to work in his behalf upon the plan of multiplication. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God, and of Jesus our Lord. 2 Peter 1 2. The work is laid out before every soul that has acknowledged his faith in Jesus Christ by baptism. If we are true to our vow, there is open to us a door of communication with heaven, a door that no human hand or satanic agency can close. This text is from the book The Faith I Live By. By Ellen G. White. <music>